Welcome to Mini Orange. Today we are going to set up order sync from WooCommerce to Salesforce. The solution can be used to sync and track WooCommerce orders in Salesforce CRM or Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Go to the Manage Application tab. There are two ways to authorize the connection with Salesforce. By default, the automatic app, pre-integrated, is displayed. In this method, select the environment you want to connect to from the options provided. Click on Save Selected Environment to save your chosen environment. Then, click on the Connect to Salesforce button for authorization with Salesforce. A pop-up window will appear in which you need to log in into your Salesforce account using your credentials. You will be displayed a success message, your connection with Salesforce is successful, when authorization is completed. You can also configure the authorization using Manual App. For doing so, click on Configure App Manually. Go to the Object Mapping tab of the plugin and click on the Add Object Mapping button. Now in order to establish sync between WooCommerce orders and the Salesforce object, we need to configure the following details. Under the Mapping Configuration section, specify the mapping label as per your choice. Select Salesforce object you want to sync your data into. Here we are selecting a custom Salesforce object to sync the WooCommerce data into. You can choose a standard Salesforce object as well to sync the WooCommerce data. Select Shop Order as a WordPress object if you want to enable Salesforce sync with WooCommerce orders. Primary key. We need to store the Salesforce object ID in a field of the synced WordPress object for future reference. The primary key field you select will be the field used to store this ID. You can keep this as default. Enable the toggle titled Sync from WordPress to Salesforce to enable Sync from WordPress to Salesforce. Go to the Object Attribute Mapping section. You need to select the Salesforce and WordPress fields you want to map corresponding to them. You can add as many mappings between Salesforce and WordPress fields. You can add the trigger condition for the data to be synced by scrolling down to the Trigger Condition section. Enable the toggle titled, Enable Conditional Trigger. Select the trigger condition on which you want to initiate a sync from the drop-down with the title, Sync WooCommerce Order When. Select this as when order status is the completed. You can also add multiple rules to this trigger condition, to achieve the same scroll to the Field Value Trigger Condition section and enable the toggle titled, Field Value Custom Filter. Now you can add various rules as per your requirement using the and filter and or filter. Now scroll down and click on the Save button to save this object mapping. Configuration Save Successfully. During the process of checkout, once the user fills out the checkout form and places the order, an entry for the order is created in the Orders submenu in WooCommerce. After checkout, by default the order status is set to Processing, the additional filter conditions are checked, and if satisfied, the order is synced and reflected in the Salesforce object. We would be happy to help. Thank you for watching.